that heroism was present that day. Secret Service agents rushed to the stage to shield the former president with their bodies within three seconds of bullets ringing out in an unflinching act of bravery. The Secret Service counter sniper who neutralized the threat with a single shot undoubtedly saved countless lives. We're in a high operational tempo and I need and I want our Secret Service workforce, the dedicated men and women of the Secret Service. I wanna know and I wanna make sure that they are uplifted so they can focus on carrying out the mission. They are worthy of trust and confidence and they deserve your support. And let me take a moment to speak to the American people that are counting on us to do our job, to protect their ability to cast a vote for the candidate of their choice. The Secret Service's successes are largely unknown. You will only know of our failures and those have been documented and all of them are undeniably dark days in our nation's history. But let me tell you about the dedicated patriots of the Secret Service. These public servants are the quiet professionals working in the background day in and day out. They are standing the watch, providing a blanket of protection to the people that work in the White House, to the thousands of people who attend political rallies and nominating conventions, to the thousands of American citizens who line Pennsylvania Avenue every four years on inauguration date to see the new president and the new vice president. And they are out there right now doing this mission. They are focused and they live their professional lives committed to the values of this agency. Justice, duty, loyalty, courage, and honesty. This is who we are, and this is what we do, and we will earn back your trust. I'm now provided a timeline of the visit to Butler, Pennsylvania. On July 8th, personnel assigned to the agency's Pittsburgh field office conducted planning meetings and a site walkthrough with law enforcement partners and campaign staff. On July 10th, Secret Service counter sniper and technical security personnel arrived in Pittsburgh and began advance planning for their teams. July 12th, the build out of the campaign rally site began and continued through the early morning hours of July 13th. In the morning of July 13th, a site briefing was conducted with Secret Service personnel, 